uh, was a non-lethal takedown even considered? So given the, uh, the weapon that the suspect was armed with, given the statements already made to our initial victim, and given the, the nature of how he was maneuvering through the Champion Center, we believe that it was in the, the best interest of the university that it was a deadly force situation. Whether the officers were armed with less lethal or what type of munitions they had um, available to them, I can't tell you at this point in time because I still myself have not been able to communicate with the officers. Because the important thing for me is to protect the, the integrity and the transparency of the officer involved shooting. Any time an officer takes a life, um, should be viewed and should be transparent and should be should have some protection around it. Um, I'm sure that as the days unfold and we learn more information about the actions of our officers on the scene, that we will be able to identify any issues, if there are any, in terms of how our officers deployed lethal force. But at this time, for me to second guess one of my officers in their decision to discharge their pistol uh, would be unassuming and would be unfair to what they were faced with at that time. And given the number of radio calls that were generated into both dispatch centers, I believe that the officers were faced with a life-threatening moment. Was the suspect 